again, huh? We're back here again. It's a 30-day strike. It's unprecedented in the union's history. And this is because these teachers are saving a resource for a very deprived borough. This is an educational resource. This is about education. This is about saving this college for this generation and for the for former generations. They are here fighting for it because they know what it's done for them and for future generations. We need this college in Newham. We need it as an inclusive college. We need performing arts. These students are from performing arts. One of the courses that gives students self-esteem and confidence to come out and believe and act in what they think. Act on what they think. That's what's being cut here. The management here only understand money. They don't understand education. They don't understand power. They don't understand about this being a borough resource for our community. And we are determined to fight for it. Yep. Okay. Sure, sure. Yeah. Okay, so thank you for all coming. of the alumni and student side of the campaign. So I set the petition. So we're all here to obviously fight for the college and to fight for ourselves and the students and the teachers and for all the staff. And I'd just like to say thank you because this college has done so much for everyone, especially me. I came to this college last year and things that Mandeep did directly affected me. For example, getting rid of John. John was my music teacher. He dropped him halfway through the course. And I honestly, I think it's disgusting that we have to even stand here and fight. But the fact that we are here every week and um, the fact that we are going to keep fighting shows how strong this community is. And I just want to round of applause for all of you guys for coming. Obviously, this is a this is a fight for the, the for this for the college's future. It's a fight for the future of the students. It's a fight for the future of the staff. What's happening here is the. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, the, the students are actually walking into the building, the potential students, and this is who we're fighting for for the future. And we're fighting to make sure that the curriculum is not reduced. We're fighting to make sure that humanities subjects are not attacked, that arts subjects are not attacked. <laughs> that, that, you know, at the moment, the situation we're in is this college will have no proper management team in summer. How is it going to function? This college does not have a course file. This college does not have a timetable. I know, because I put it on with Nicole. This college does not have a timetable. Yeah? This college does not have an enrolment plan. This college will come to a, a, a very bitter end in summer if the current regime are not actually removed. <laughs> some, some, some of the key highlights, everybody. Yeah? Problems in this college. Curriculum cuts for no reason. Lying about finances. One minute the finances are wonderful and there's three million in the bank. The next minute there's no money at all. Well, how can that be? Which one is it? Yeah? You know, the, the, hocks, the hocks have been cut down to three director's posts and suddenly when the director's posts were rehabilitized, all of a sudden the college, according to Suzanne Data, is in a great financial position and there needs to be a culture change. There's not need to be a culture change. There needs to be a culture of accountability in this college, which it's always had. A culture of honesty, which it's always had. 
before the previous five years. This, this college does not need a change to a culture of reduced curriculum, treating staff badly, reduced working conditions for all, and people not actually being, a, being accountable and people not actually being able to speak out. What's going on in this college is wrong. There is no accountability for the principal and the SLT team by the governors who are not actually doing what they should be doing. They are not holding this, this, college, this college's SLT team to account. What's even more crazy is this, this SLT team don't even seem to realise that, you know, the, the governors don't even seem to realise that the college is constantly being investigated for exams malpractice. It's been put in special measures and our governing body don't actually know that. How can that be? So a reminder of the issues, cuts to curriculum, attacks on staff, attacks on the management team, terrible safeguarding concerns that nearly, that nearly ended in somebody being killed, all students and staff at risk, an SLT who cannot actually run the college and don't. We've got to win this dispute everybody. Yeah, we all need to stand firm. I thank everybody who came, and I hope that people will encourage everybody else to come and join us. Take care, everybody. Let's march. It was lovely to see you all again. Yay! It's great to be back. It's great to be back with all you lovely people. It's brilliant to see the students out here um, this week. You know, it's absolutely brilliant to see everybody fighting so hard. I know I've been with you for the last couple of months, but you know I've obviously been seeing things, you know, kind of from the sidelines, and and you've you've been putting up an absolutely brilliant fight, full of heart. Give yourselves another big cheer. Um, I mean, it's crazy what's going on here. You know what I mean? I mean, you, you know, there's been an absolute failure of accountability. You know, regarding the governing body. And I think that this is something really, really important that we have to bring forward for next week. It's really, really important that everybody who is here is out here on Monday at five o'clock. We're doing the placard making. We want, to, we want the governors to be held to account in regards to what's happening. You know, we obviously know the situation that, you know, that the SLT are not being held to account at all. You know, the, 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 the votes of confidence which we put in into the SLT, the votes of confidence that we put into the governors, and they haven't been responded to, they haven't been dealt with adequately. And of course, all we're seeing, all of those things which Simon just said, you know, safeguarding, uh, you know, concerns, concerns regarding exams, concerns regarding course closures and course cuts and everything. And the, and the college just isn't safe in, in, the, in the hands of the current regime, the current SLT. Um, so, you know, we really want to put as much pressure as we can on the authorities to kind of do something but we also really need to we we had this discussion obviously on tuesday but we also really need to put as much pressure as we can on our colleagues to come out here and join us so when we do go back into the building make sure that we're having those discussions in the classroom we're, uh, in the classroom in the staff room excuse me slip there um, that we're having those discussions in the staff rooms with our colleagues and that they really know that they are not safe they think that by going into the building and they're putting their heads heads down they're somehow going to curry favor where's john 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 Where's John? 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 And we need to turn this college back into the wonderful learning community, which it always has been. Thanks, everybody. Save our college! 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 Save our college!
And it was a fantastic moment. I've taught in this borough for over 35 years. It was a wonderful moment because our sixth forms have been diminishing in size and we just couldn't provide for our sixth form. And when this place opened, it was just fantastic. And the students were so happy. They wanted to be in a college. They didn't want to be in school still. They wanted their sixth form college. And it opened on these brilliant founding principles the whole philosophy was completely inclusive. I won't go on too much. I just want to turn to one page. If you'll give me a moment. What year was that? Well, I can't remember the year. 1993. What year was that? 1993. 1993. There we go. Look at this wonderful page. What does it say to you? It says music. It says music. Music went. John went. No one knew what happened. We cannot let that happen to performing arts. We have two brilliant, massively experienced, massively successful, nationally recognized as a team. Hello, New Vic. Um, I always love coming down to your pickets. The, the passion, the strength, the feeling, the solidarity. It's amazing, and it's what makes me know you're going to win, because that strength together is the power that is far, far greater than whatever power the people in I think they have, and you know that. Um, but I guess I'm speaking because I want to remind you that that power extends beyond this very, very excellent union group and students who are supporting it extends beyond that, because you're part of a national education union of half a million members. Half a million members have got your back. That means that we can use those subs that we all pay to pay sustentation. You can be out here as long as needed. Your, our pockets as the NEU are far deeper than that colleges. And the determination you have to win is far greater than any onerous management in there who we've heard so much about. And it fills me with great inspiration to see you all. I know you'll carry on to win. Solidarity. Well done, Nuvik. <laughs> on Barking Road, which is straight down the road and then to the right, because we've got a placard making session where we are going to make placards with the governor's names on them. We are going to say, you are accountable. You are accountable. We're going to be here at five o'clock outside the college lobbying the government to tell them you are accountable for what is happening in this place. So please join us at the placard making. Please join us next Monday five o'clock here and Tuesday after the picket we will have a strike rally where we need as many people from the, from the college and from the community as possible. A strike rally Tuesday the 13th that will be at 10 o'clock at the town hall. Okay good luck everyone carry on the fight. <laughs> As a teacher, the, the, the arts drama teacher in school, can you tell uh, just me briefly what's happening? So, how do you feel about this? What's happening here? Um, well, we are really, really. If, if you tell me your name and. Yeah, what's my name? name is Annie. I'm a drama teacher at Newvic. I've been here for 18 years. And this is Zuri. Yeah, I'm the dance teacher at Newvic, and I've been here for 12 years. So, what's what's going on? Why are they cutting the cards? Um, they say that it, there is. They say there's no money to run the course anymore. Um, but we know that there is money, and it's all about the priorities and deciding what's important in the college. And we feel that performing arts and all of the arts is absolutely vital, and that students in this community in this area deserve to be able to study performing arts and arts subjects. And if they cut our subjects and they cut these subjects, then they're depriving a huge number of students from being able to study these subjects. So this is baffling me because when you look at streaming now, all these big, big productions yes, looking absolutely. for stars, 
and when it's really and the talent in this yes, area. Absolutely. So over the years you teaching, what what what, what kind of talent you have come up from? Yeah. Do you want to talk about yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous yeah. amounts. Yeah, if you tell me. Yeah. I mean, we've got um, amazing, amazing alumni who have gone on to incredible things. We've got Joseph Tunga, who came here on a level two performing arts course and is now an emerging choreographer with the Royal Ballet. He has his own amazing um, dance company, which he runs. We've got amazing actors who have come through the college. We've got um, students who study performing arts who are now working in the industry, running their own theatre companies, running their own dance companies, working in theatres, running theatres. Yeah, we've got a massive, massive, massive long list of incredible alumni who wouldn't be in those positions if they hadn't studied performing arts here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I think that the issue is, is that there are, across the borough of Newham and, and beyond, there are so many um, talented young people who don't get these opportunities to go into these kind of industries without, without significant training. And that's something that we've all, you know, we're very holistic in the way that we train them and they appreciate that and they go on and do things and they always come back. There's a massive community of performing arts and music, of alumni, of current students, and you can see that today. Save the college! 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 Save the college!